I want to try making a movie on my phone. Why haven't I been doing that? I have iMovie on here, and this is a much newer device than my laptop. And I'm familiar with iMovie. Look at him, he's doing his thing. What are you, horny? Why are you doing that? What's up that? What's up with that? You're not in heat, are you, Prinny? Let's check it out. She should not be in heat, hopefully, because she should be pregnant. No, her her backside is looking pretty normal. You normal, Prinny? I mean, she hasn't been calling or anything like that one time she was in heat. Hi, Prin. I feel like with this iPhone, I could make a really good video because it's got a good camera. Hi, funny goat. Hi, Skylar. And look at the ice formations on this fence. It's just beautiful. We're just taking a little... Uh, I'm just out here on this beautiful, it's a uh, late morning now, it's 11, a little after 11, and it's been hazy like this all morning, and um, I am sort of being a little bit, I'm getting a little trapped in YouTube spiral this morning, just being fully honest with you, uh, not spiraling too hard, just not getting the stuff done that I want to. Um, and so I'm going to go back and do that stuff and get it done. And uh, instead of watching YouTube, I'm going to make YouTube right now, like I'm doing. Which is really the dream, or the thing, the goal. The, the I think that's what satisfies it. It's instead of watching YouTube videos all the time, i got to create. That's the balance. It's fun to watch and get inspiration, but you have to create your own for the fulfillment right Cupid so I have lots of inspiration out here and lots of good beautiful things to film like these animals and so it's easy for me I just come out here and point my phone and talk and you know what would be good would be to add some music that's what Noke Eric has taught me music really adds something so I will not try to copy him, but be inspired by him, by adding some music. Maybe it's Thomas, his editor, who adds the music. I don't know, but look at this. Look at the needles on this white line. They're just clumped together and they're all beautifully frozen. There's my truck. My little truck. Come on, Fran. You wanna go inside? I think she wants to be outside running around. But we've had too many close calls with her going over the free over the highway that we live too close to for comfort. Too close to too close for comfort. Okay. She has, I think. Okay, she wants to walk a little further. I don't know if that's like, probably just a dew, dew forms on there. Cause yesterday it was above freezing. It got to above freezing. So there's probably moisture on the surface of the plant. And then it freezes in a special way. Basically, you know, it uh, goes below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And the ice formations are just like this. That's what ice does. It expands, right? It doesn't really happen on the needles in the same dramatic way, though. I don't know. Good girl. Okay.
Okay, my hands are so cold, so I'm gonna put down. Let's go, Franny, this way. Let's see, come on, Fran. Good girl. She's really good. We've been doing a lot of on the leash time lately because this past weekend and the weekend before that and stuff, we go out on a hike with the goats and then she's around and hanging out and being pretty close doing her normal thing and then I've come back and she's just running across the road, which I'll tell you, it's a scenic highway of a speed limit of 55 and most people go 60 or 65. And I think she knows how to avoid cars, but I don't care. That's not our property across the street, of course. It's another person's property. So that's trespassing. And, um, and it's dangerous, obviously, crossing a road. And she's not, most importantly, in the future, that is not great because I need her to be protecting the goats. Staying close to the goats. Not necessarily just running off and exploring f many, many distances away from us and the goats. For me, whoever, you know, she's, I want her to be one with the herd in a way. I mean, she is like me, she's a goatherd. She's not necessarily a goat, you know, she needs to do her own thing and have her own entertainment. But uh, she's not gonna do a good effective job guarding the goats if she's, you know, very far away from them. It's not gonna pan out very well because a predator could come along. She is a very good girl though, two and a half years old, learning. We're learning and still building our relationship and uh, I think the next step is probably I might get into treat training to encourage her to obey my commands when we're on the off the leash. There's just something that can happen when I put her off the leash where uh, she no longer, she knows she can run away and so she does. And we've had a few times where she's been really awesome and we've been off the leash and she's listened and those were few and far between. Francesca, come on, let's go. Here we go. Let's go, this way. Franny, this way. Sometimes I have to walk towards her. Not in a threatening way, but just in a dominant way. way. I am, I've, um, you know, I'm not a perfect person. I've definitely had times where I've gotten upset at Francesca. And, um, you know, not like hit her, but maybe I, when she was a puppy, I remember one time I got upset and lost my temper and I kind of tossed her. And I just remember how bad that was, how she was so scared of me for like, I don't know, at least a few hours. And uh, I don't know, ever since then I've been pretty good. And even I still get upset with her, like especially when she runs and does not, oh, you know, I tell her to come here and she's off the leash and she's, you know, far enough away from me and she just runs away kind of looks away from me when I speak to her and then just runs off those are frustrating and sometimes when I'm you know in those moments I'm like thinking man when I when I see her oh my gosh I'm just gonna oh getting so upset in my head but enough time goes by and even not I can sometimes still be looking out in the woods looking for her and I'm upset but when the moment comes that I find her, I just, I'm still upset, but I don't like, my natural reaction it seems is not to do what was in my head where I want to throw her onto the ground and I don't know, <laughs> get really upset with her. I just like, I maybe kind of show her that I'm upset by kind of growling and getting a little bit in her face, thinking, you know, sort of what would a, what would the leader of a dog pack do to say, you've upset me, but I'm gonna forgive you. Something like that. I don't know, it just kind of comes about naturally. That was a half pee.
the non P. Do you have to P? Anyway, she's a very good dog. And, you know, so many people have so many opinions about how to raise dogs and especially a dog like this, a guardian dog, a working dog. People have lots, lots of advice and opinions out there. And I guess I'm, I, I'm kind of a person that I just love mostly. I, I, I'll take some advice, but um, I'll hear out advice, but I really love to learn from my own mistakes. I love to learn the hard way. I mean, I don't I always love it in the moment, but it seems to be uh, my dharma or something. I just need to, I need to do it original style. I gotta be original style with it. Can't be uh, just following other people's paths always laid out. It's not my, it's not my, it's not my vibe, yo. So what I mean to say is with Franny, I sometimes have her out with the goats. I sometimes, I just ebb and flow with if she's sleeping in the house or she's sleeping out with the goats. And we've had, I mean, this year we had some times where she was out with the goats for, uh, I think we got up to maybe a week straight. She slept out there and was out there with the goats for a full week or more. And now I've had her inside with me for uh, almost a week now. And I've had her only on the leash. Well, that was, I think, on Friday morning, New Year's Day, that we went out for a hike, and then she went out and was across the road and was gone for, like, two hours. So it's been four days now without any off-the-leash time, which I can start to notice in her. She needs to let some energy out. So it could be good to, like, go to a dog park or something like that. That could be a good option. That's different from letting her run around here. But, uh, we're gonna head back inside, as you can see. Cause she got her pee. And I'm gonna get some work done for school. And it's been good having another rambling session on YouTube. I don't even know if I'll need, I don't know if I wanna add uh, music to this bird housing. I don't know. It could be nice to edit this and add music, but I also currently am uploading a video to YouTube from when I, how do I switch the camera? That just took a photo. It probably won't let me switch camera mid video, will it? Is that pee? It's sticky. like lotion. That's weird. Anyway, she did not pee on the floor. She hasn't done that in a long time. She's pretty good about letting me know when she's got to go out for sure. And I usually just, we go out for a walk because I need it more than her a lot of the time. Ain't that right? Francesca is half Anatolian Shepherd and half Great Pyrenees. And 100% badass. eyes. Alright, I'm signing off. And, uh, look, you want to see my face? Face reveal. Okay, I've got, uh, some simple, very simple things to do for, uh, school right now. We're just, it's just paperwork related to medical things because my school is at a medical facility. Pretty cool, huh? And uh, school starts in less than a week. And tomorrow and Thursday is a 
orientation all day, both days, which I look forward to learning a lot more because up until this point, I feel a little bit in the, it's kind of like when I started my undergrad, it's like, what am I really getting into here? You don't really know until you just get into it. And so it's kind of, I think the same thing and that's okay. I'm a little more okay with that sort of thing. And I don't get a, don't get as anxious, probably because of my experience with undergrad. And, uh, Maybe this video would be fun to edit in iMovie. Maybe it wouldn't. We'll see. I, I haven't tried that out yet, but only I will only do that after I've sent and finished the uh, schooling things, which I'm going to go do now. So I'll catch you soon. Thanks for watching. How close has this been to my face? That's better, huh? Rock on. Peace.